Trojan football teams. And this year, we are celebrating the 1968 and 1993 teams. In 1993, John Robinson, who is standing right, sitting right here, began the second stint as USC's head coach, guiding the Trojans to eight victories to tie for first place in the Pac-10 and a victory in the Freedom Bowl. The offense set five new season passing records behind quarterback Rob Johnson and All-American wide receiver Johnny Morton. Future NFL stars William McGinnis and Jason Seahorn Jason Seahorn led a defense that held nine opponents to three touchdowns or less. In 1968, the 1968 Trojans won their first nine games, including five victories over top 20 opponents, and captured the Pac-8 title and a berth in the Rose Bowl. Tailback O.J. Simpson won the Heisman Trophy for the most one-sided margin in history while setting an NCAA record rushing yardage. Steve Soggy quarterback the team with many of his passes caught by N. Jim Lawrence. Mike Fowler won All-American honors as a defensive back on a defense that allowed only two opponents to score more than 21 points. Eight Trojans were drafted were draft picks including first rounder Simpson and tight end Bob Fine. Fight on was their spirit then and was their spirit now. So let's meet our anniversary teams. And now please welcome back players from the 1968 USC Trojan football team. Now retired wide receiver number 28, Jim Lawrence. And orthopedic surgeon, offensive guard, Fred Kasikian. A VP of real estate, number 65, linebacker, Greg George. Middle guard, number 56, Bill Redding. Director of Security for the PGA and ATP WTA events, kicker, safety, offensive guard, number eight, Ron Ayala. Now retired, former member of the defensive line, number 70, Gary MacArthur. Now retired, defensive tackle, number 72, Al Cowley. USC Senior Director of Development, fullback number 42, Bill Holland. Now retired, linebacker number 53, Greg Slough. Dennis. Linebacker, number 51, Bob Jensen. The 1968 Trojans. Speaking on behalf of the team is Bob Jensen. Well, I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it's uh, great. It's a super great honor for us. We uh, we had a really good run there from our freshman year to my next year. I was a junior on this team. Our two captains were Steve Soggy and O.J. Simpson uh, for this year. And uh, we were undefeated. We played our last game in the Rose Bowl for the national championship against Ohio State. And we got beat in the second half. It was a real tough game. Uh, but our record was, uh, in my four years, was 32 wins. Two ties and two losses. So we had a really good thing. So we were very, very fortunate. The guys you see on the stands here were absolutely the very, very best high school players in the nation. And our defense uh, was the number one in the nation too, like we were in '67. And then next year, my senior year, I was the captain, the official captain. And my senior year, we were undefeated again. So I just want to introduce these gentlemen. Jimmy Lawrence caught the winning touchdown pass. Just a fabulous wide receiver. New Orleans Saints drafted. Frank Asijan, orthopedic surgeon, all conference in the Pac-8. Pac-8, offensive guard, academic, all-American. 
super, super smart. <laughs> and then there's Greg George, a linebacker. Greg's father was a famous coach here, Ray George. And Greg and I would always run wind sprints together, and we'd always have battles on the field. We played against each other in high school. I went to a school in Anaheim, Magnolia High School, and Greg went to Corona Del Mar. And uh, he was one of those stripper types, you know. So, uh, uh, But we had great battles uh, in the Orange County All-Star Game, and it was just really a great thing. Terrific guy. Bill Holland from Costa Mesa. He was our nose guard. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Wrong guy. You'll, you'll, you'll come up to Bill Holland's feet. Bill is, is, uh, is, was number 56. He was a nose guard. Like we said, we ran a 5-2 uh, a slamming defense. He was our nose guard. We'd flip it around with a strong linebacker and a weak linebacker. And we had guys moving all around. And it was uh, great. And it worked really good. So Bill was uh, fantastic. Of course, everybody knows about Ron Ayala. Get the winning field goal against Stanford. Beat those guys at the last play of the game. Now, how good is that? And uh, was a great kicker and uh, uh, just a terrific uh, teammate. Really wonderful guy. Gary MacArthur was a great defensive lineman. He was the guys that were in front of me. I was a linebacker and a big time player. Great in high school. And uh, Gary was just fabulous. He lives up in uh, Oregon. Yeah, lives in Oregon. Everybody knows the other guy, Al Cowlings. He's great. He was part of our team. Wonderful guy. Just a true Trojan. Just a wonderful human being. And we just had a great time. And uh, a tremendous athlete. And he was part in my next year when we had the Wild Bunch. Uh, I was the captain of the Wild Bunch. And we had a, just a terrific front line with Jimmy Gunn, Charlie Weaver, Tody Smith, uh, Bubba Scott, Tody Smith, and Al. And uh, we were, again, number one in the nation in defense, total scoring and yards. Nobody scored on us. So, and then Dale Holland was our fullback, great player, and uh, just a tremendous athlete in high school, and uh, really blocked well. Our back this year, of course, was OJ. And then, uh, you know, we had Bobby, uh, Bobby Chandler and Terry DeCry, Mike Morgan, all these gentlemen. And most of the time, most of our guys were from California. You know, we had one of our two quarterbacks was Mike Holmgren was our quarterback from Northern California, Pete Sanchez. And uh, this year our quarterback was Steve Soggy and he was all conference and he played baseball at USC too. And then this big guy over here, this is Greg Slough. He was my other linebacker when we played. He was the next generation linebacker. You know, we were all like six foot, six one and Greg came in. He was in. He was uh, served in Vietnam and then went to USC. Greg Slough was a big time player. Played with the Rams and the Raiders, and he was the next level specimen. Six foot three, tremendous athlete, and really good guy. So there it is. There's you guys. We always respect you. So yeah, it was uh, wonderful. We had a really good thing, and uh, I always remember this when uh, I have to tell this story. I'll keep it real quick. But when we were playing at the end of the year, then we had our banquet that showed uh, who was the MVP and the most inspirational. That was when they introduced the teams from the previous 25 and 50 year teams. It was like in, uh, up on Wilshire Boulevard at the, Hollywood, at the Biltmore, one of those hotels there. And we looked so, so when we were playing, here was like the 1917 team, which would be us, and the 19, like 42 team. And I remember looking at the guys and I'm thinking, those guys never played football. It was, you know, it was amazing. But sure enough, they did. And here it is 50 years later. And we're back on the stage. But uh, like I said, it, it's great to be a Trojan. Uh, it changed all of our lives. And, uh, you know, we always, always expected to win with our coach, John McKay. We had a great coaching staff, and uh, we were held accountable to anything we did. And we had to pay the price on the practice field. And uh, when the time was, when we played our games, the games were easy. So thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it.